What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Kilt Protocol, anonymous credentials for Web3 on KSM. Let's get into it. But before I jump into the content, I just completely revamped my website, bitcoinlockup.com. As you can see on your screen, there's some very exciting stuff coming and you can always preview my newest videos there before they hit YouTube or any other platform. And there's gonna be some giveaway soon, so make sure to keep posted there. There's also gonna be bonus exclusive content that I'm only gonna have on my website and never on YouTube or any other platform. Let's dive in. Welcome back. So in some of our last videos, we talked about some more Polka projects and their impacts on the crypto ecosystem. We've also covered Solana projects, Cosmos projects, and of course, dug deeper and deeper into NFTs. Today, I'm looking into Kusama, Polkadot's wild cousin, and the projects that are sliding under the radar on this very expensive test network. Today, I specifically wanted to touch on Kilt Protocol, anonymous credentials for Web3. Let's talk about what it is, why it was created, and ultimately, why you should really pay attention to this. So, what is Kilt Protocol? K-I-L-T, or Kilt, is an open source fat blockchain protocol for issuing claim-based, revocable, and verifiable credentials for Web 3.0. It also allows users to claim arbitrary attributes about themselves, have them attested to by trusted entities, and store the claims as self-sovereign credentials. The protocol offers a simple JavaScript SDK so useful applications can be built without requiring any blockchain development skills. In simple terms, Kilt Protocol is a project that enables claim-based anonymous credentials that you own and not the platform you use. The project allows end users to claim arbitrary attributes about themselves, which are endorsed by trusted parties, and store these claims as your credentials or certificates. So what problem does Kilt actually solve? Well, if it's not obvious, Kilt is a blockchain protocol for issuing self-sovereign, verifiable, revocable, and anonymous credentials and enabling trust market business models within the new Web 3.0 ecosystem. In the Internet Users Register Services app, if those services become successful, they accumulate millions of logins and often collect and use data to generate users that are on the way. This leads to three potentially major problems. First, the data silos are honeypots for hackers and thus a high security risk. Two, the vast amount of users on one service automatically generates a monopoly. Better services coming up have a little chances to get recognized and the monopoly service will not evolve as fast as it could because it does not fear the competition. And three, the amount of data collected by only a few services gives these services an unfair advantage in the age of artificial intelligence. Now. How does Kilt use the blockchain specifically? Kilt provides a base layer for verifiable credentials in the Web 3.0 world. Using the benefits of blockchain, they bring real world accreditation to the digital world, creating a way for businesses to verify credentials and bring trust to a whole new transparent level. Their system will enable individuals, businesses, and governments to rely on a common standard, which is owned by everyone, participating and not by one single entity or company. So here are some of the features and highlights. Kilt is also part of a Gaia X project initiated by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Energy to build a European alternative to centralized cloud solutions. Self-sovereign data and identity. The protocol uses three peer-to-peer -peer roles to maintain and verify trust inside the network. Claimer, attester, and verifier. Claimer can be an object, individual, or an organization. A tester is a trusted party which confirms a claim to make sure evidence Claimer provides is correct and accurate. And then last but not least, the verifier link Claimers with attesters by creating a demand in the chain. A verifier receives credentials from a Claimer to verify the claims. For instance, a passport holder can be thought of as the Claimer, the issuing government as the attester, and the border control office as the verifier. Makes sense? SDKs are software development kits. Kilt provides a JavaScript SDK, which is used. 
It also uses Polymec, which is an open source blockchain system designed to help getting liquidity into Polkadot based projects that have not been ready yet to sell transferable currencies using their own technology. It is a concept like the ERC20 smart contract mechanism, but for issuing pre-currencies on Polkadot or Kusama, as it enables Polkaverse projects to issue transferable pre-coins before they go to the mainnet. Now, Kilt and the huge untapped potential here that I think maybe Doc is missing. Kilt has a great advantage going forward and will be one of the most important groundwork projects in the entire Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems. Kilt is currently also cooperating with Fractal, the KYC method for most projects in the pre-sale phase in Polkadot. In addition, the upcoming Polkadex, which is basically like Uniswap on Polkadot, has also integrated the Kilt SDK. Kilt's SDK is built in Java, so no blockchain experience is required to integrate the product so all developers can use it. As of March of this year, there are five active projects in the Rococo parachain testnet on Kusama. It seems that Kilt is the least mentioned project considering the number of followers on Twitter and official Telegram groups. Now, Kilt protocol and its connections to Web 3.0. One of the most important things is that Kilt is involved with Web 3 as well. There is no clear definition of Web 3 or a single creator, but rather a collaboration of many different individuals and organizations such as the Web 3 Foundation run by the founders of Polkadot. The main difference from Web3 is that it's decentralized and users manage their own data instead of intermediaries like Facebook. There are now many accounts on different systems such as Facebook, like user accounts, banks, passports, workplaces, stamp cards, and many other intermediaries such as governments and centralized companies. Many of these people regularly use them for their own gain and these credentials are at risk of being leaked. With Kilt, users only need an access record which they manage themselves and they decide how they want to use it, view what, and even just their name. Plus, only one pass key is required to use your credentials anywhere. No need to remember multiple passwords for multiple accounts on Snapchat or YouTube or Instagram or any other centralized platform. Wrapping this up, Kilt and its endless possibilities. In a world where Kilt has become extremely popular, when you go to work, register your work ID with Kilt, then go to the cafe at work, and then you show your ID. You use a machine to which a large number of goods have been assigned their own unique ID and order automatically with your paycheck. Again, ideally a payment in crypto. The deliverer comes with this ID to fill the machine with products that also have their own ID. Stay with me. At the end of this month, this machine will seamlessly distribute the profits to all investors who also have IDs. There are many other use cases for Kilt like automotive, messaging, advertising, and so on and so forth. A new and current innovation is the COVID vaccine certificate that many countries adopted. Kilt will likely benefit a lot from this as they release an anti-COVID app designed specifically for it. So. Is Kilt now officially a Kusama parachain? The Kilt protocol, again, an open source blockchain protocol for issuing self-sovereign, anonymous, and verifiable credentials, just wanted to be clear on that, has won the sixth Kusama parachain auction and has launched its mainnet, the project has recently announced. For those who aren't in the know, again, Kusama is Polkadot's canary network for blockchain devs to build and test out their code as well as produce products and services. Now let me end on parachain auctions that are coming to Polkadot. So Polkadot is again a blockchain protocol that connects multiple specialized blockchains into a multi-chain network in which individuals blockchains or parachains connect to and are secured by the Polkadot relay chain. Due to the limited number of parachains that can be supported on the main relay chain, slot auctions are being used to select the parachains that can be added. 11 parachain slot auctions have taken place on Kusama and 12 parachains are currently running live on Kusama. Polkadot's canary network for blockchain developers to build out and test their code as I mentioned. Now the Kusama parachains include Akala's Karura network, which I've done a previous video on recently, 
ASTAR, previously called PLASM, Shiden Network, Fala's Kala Network, Bifrost, and also Kilt Protocol. The highly anticipated parachains on Polkadot will be technologically viable from early to mid-December of this year, with a deployment to Kusama, Polkadot's canary network, by the end of October. The parachain code in our code base is feature complete, Gavin Wood just said. Polkadot's full code audit has been completed and the corrections to the code are expected to be completed by early November 2021 at the latest. The first batch of five Polkadot parachain auctions is scheduled to start on November 11th with a new auction each week, according to the Polkadot blog post on October 13th. The first batch of five parachains will be onboarded from approximately December 17th instead of immediately following each auction in the case of Kusama. Each auction, Polkadot will assign a parachain slot with a total of 96 weeks, divided into eight 12-week lease periods as opposed to Kusama's 48 total weeks. What do you guys think though? Will this replace what doc.io is trying to do or complement it with a more private, secure and decentralized identity solution or DID? Let me know down in the comments below and then go ahead and click right here to watch my video on how this connects to Karura in the top right corner. I'll see you guys in that video right now. Crypto Renegade out.